computers can deal with various type of numbers. Um, so the most simple type uh, would be a Boolean number. Um, and a practical example of that is a, is a light switch. So a switch can be either on or off. So we have a variable switch, which I call the switch, and in this case is off. And you can output that with the print uh, function. So if we run that, see that the switch is off. Um, if we change it to one, obviously it will be on. Um, so this type of variable, which is either true or false, is known as a Boolean variable. Can I have only two values, either true or false? Uh, another type of variable that Python can deal with are all, all numbers. Um, 128 or 512, whatever number you want. And finally, it can deal with uh, floating point numbers, so numbers that have a certain uh, broken value. Um, and once you define variables, you can do operations. And so if we define uh, variables x and y, we can calculate uh, the output of operations. Uh, you can also do that directly in the print command if you want. So this would do exactly the same. Uh, so you have the addition, division, multiplication, subtraction. Um, this will give you the remainder of x divided by y. Uh, two uh, multiplication signs will give you x to the power of y. And you can do additional operations if you import the mod module. So let's just do that as an example. Um, so in this case, you, I take the sine of 3. Uh, it has cosine. Um, you can take the square root. Um, and you can also get a user to enter a certain variable. So, so let's say we have a, a user wants to type the variable x. We can type enter x and convert it to the type of variable you want because you input text but not a number for the computer's understanding. And so if you want whole numbers, uh, convert it to an integer like this. So this will get you the variable x from the keyboard as a whole number. If you want a broken number, we would use a float. Um, 